young people press on toward the goal and win the prize. It's a worth of goal to win the prize. Take our cross and follow Christ. With this generation soul by soul. I'm ashamed to claim the lost fellow. This is the vision, achievement, and mission for Christ. An achiever in mission looks forward to the future God has made. He presses on toward the goal for the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Now let's all stand up and let's worship our wonderful Jesus. Yeah, let's all open up our hearts and let's worship the Lord together. Father, we give thanks to your name. We thank you for the cross. We thank you for the salvation that you have provided for all of us. Yeah. We magnify your name, Jesus. All oh, the way, all oh, the weight of His glory, all oh, the wonder of His grace, the power of salvation that pulled me from the grave. This hope is not empty, and forever He will reign, He won't be put to shame. Oh, my soul, sing to the God of the ages, sing to the Lord of creation, sing His praise again. And oh, my soul. Sing like the heavens are waiting, roar like an army of angels, sing His praise again. From the moment of rescue, I have never been the same when His love took me down. And my sin was washed away, now I stand here forgiven. And I know that I am saved, I won't be put to shame. Oh, my soul, sing to the God of the angels, sing to the Lord of creation, sing His praise again. Oh, my soul, sing like the heavens are waiting. Roar like an army of angels, sing His praise again. And remember, and remember how our God has never failed, never failed us. Remember that His name will make a way, He'll make a way from the cross to the grave. He is risen and He reigns. Praise the Lord. Sing His praise again. And sing it again. Remember, and remember how our God has never failed, never failed us. Remember that His name will make a way. He'll make a way from the cross to the grave. He is risen and He reigns. Praise the Lord. And sing His praise. Again, and oh my soul, sing to the God of the ages, sing to the Lord of creation, sing His praise again. And oh my soul, sing like the heavens are waiting, so like an army of angels, sing His praise again. And oh my soul, sing to the God of the ages, sing to the Lord of creation, sing His praise again. And oh my soul, sing like the heavens are waiting, roll like an army of angels, sing His praise again, sing His praise again. Sing His praise again. Sing His praise again. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hey, 
there, Aimer! Welcome back to another episode of Top of the List. I'm Pastora Tessa. Together with me is... Hi, Aimer! I'm Gina. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 33 says, Do not be deceived, but company ruins good morals. We influence one another in some ways. Aimer, we should choose to be someone who influences other people in a good way. Today, we will look at some ways on how to be a good influence to people around us. Number one, utilize your influence to share the gospel. Maximize your influence to spread the love of Christ to the people around you. Paul, in the Bible, was determined to put up with anything and use his influence for good rather than hinder the gospel of Christ. In 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 12, If others share this rightful claim on you, do not be even more. Nevertheless, we have not made use of this right, but we endure anything rather than put an obstacle in the way of the gospel of Christ. Be passionate in sharing the gospel. Be someone who does not want anything to get in the way of sharing the good news. Number 2. Utilize your influence to sow good seed. A person does not have to be famous to spread his influence. We can be a good influence even in small acts. One way is to speak gracious words. Proverbs 16 verse 24 Gracious words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. And remember that above all else we are to revere and keep God's commandments. Ecclesiastes 12 verse 13 The end of the matter, all has been heard. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Number 3. Utilize your influence for the benefit of others. Amer, you are blessed to be a blessing, just like how the Lord blessed the Israelites. He chose and blessed them so they could also be a blessing to the world. In Genesis chapter 12, verse 3, I will bless those who bless you, and him who dishonors you I will curse. And in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. We are not to feel proud or see ourselves higher than others. Each one of us matters as well as what we do. Aimer, the question now is, how do you maximize your influence for good? Think about it. Our prayer is that you will live a life by being a good company to those people around you. That's it for our top of the list. Always remember Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We are Achievers in Mission. Hi, Amers! I'm Rosariam, and this is Amplified. Merry Christmas to all! And tonight, let me encourage you with this verse. Philippians 3 verse 14. I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. And in other translation, it says, Philippians 3 verse 13, KJV, I press on toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. In NLT, it says, I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us. So Paul here has used the illustration of a runner who focuses on the goal ahead of him. This prevents distractions and stumbling. And Paul's spiritual goal is stated directly here. Sabi niya, the price of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. And previously in verse 13, it says, Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own. But one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining toward to what lies ahead. So Paul's focus is on the future, not prior mistakes, not your, not his past, nor his enemies in the past, or nor his achievements. Because a person cannot move ahead if their their art, their thoughts, or their vision is focused on the past. Right? Paul has a clear goal: being in heaven with the Lord. He wants to do the will of God. That is calling. And he looks forward to the ultimate reward for his faithful service. 
And this prize is to be with Christ forever. Now, we press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward goal, call of God in Christ Jesus. We press here is the yoko, no, in Greek, or the yoko, which means pursue, pursuing, run after, seek after. Amen. We earnestly seek after or run after toward the goal to win the prize of the upward goal. We run the race to win the prize. Young people, today God is telling you to push through, to push forward, to move forward towards the life that He has prepared for you. And it's beautiful. In Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you. I know this. I know you are very familiar with this verse declares the lord plans for the for welfare and not for evil to give you a future and a hope amor don't be discouraged god is not yet done with your life you will end in faith philippians 1 verse 6 nlp and i am certain that god who began the good work within you will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. 1 Peter 5 verse 10 And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to His eternal glory in Christ, will Himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. Who among you likes that? God will restore, God will confirm, strengthen, and establish you. Paul simply writes about the goal of pursuing Christ until uh, he meets with God after this life. No? He said, press on towards meeting Jesus face to face in heaven. And we all want that. A very satisfying, perfect life with Jesus Christ our Lord. And this calling, in this verse, it's uh, in Greek, it's klysis. Or Klaisis, K-L-A-Y-S-I-S, which refers to God inviting all people to receive the, His gift of salvation with all His blessings that go with it. And it's really an awesome experience to be called by God to His wonderful kingdom, to His wonderful glory, participating with everything that is uh, miraculously being done in his kingdom seeing miracles seeing healing receiving uh, the gift of salvation seeing people getting saved life being transformed by the gospel think with me imagine the faces of those people that you love your family your friends your dear classmates your colleagues well, you would want to get uh, to see them to heaven, right? You don't. You 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 want them to experience a life with God because you know exactly how it is to have a wonderful life with Jesus, to have a relationship with God. So, young people, aimers, share the good news about the Lord Jesus Christ. Aimer, Paul's teaching was not to look back at the past, but instead. To focus on what God can do today and in the days ahead to live for Christ until we meet Him face to face. Turn to God while there is time. Instead of pursuing the world and everything in it, enjoying a very momentary pleasure, seek after God. Run after real life with Jesus Christ. Offer your life to Him. Turn away from sin. Be grateful. Be humble. God loves you so much. Amor, press on. Win the price. The price of having eternal life. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you and praise you for what you have done and what you are continually doing in the lives of these wonderful young people. Thank you for the, this gift of life. And thank you for encouraging us to press on towards the goal of winning the prize, of, of having that calling, of obeying your word. Thank you for inviting us to this wonderful relationship of knowing you, 
of experiencing your goodness, your love, oh God, your favor. Thank you, Jesus, that you will help our young people experience you even at their homes while they are having online classes. Lord, they might experience your goodness even as they are in a very uh, secluded place, Lord, as they yield their hearts to you, as they, as they surrender their lives to you, Lord, they will just completely experience your reality, your faithfulness, your goodness, O oh God, and it will bring glory to your wonderful name. Thank you, Jesus, that as we press on toward the goal, we will win the prize. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Always remember Philippians 4 verse 13. I can do all things through Him who strengthens me. We are achievers in mission. See you again tomorrow at 6 p.m.